Wow. Yo, we back out with another one, man. We doing a reaction to my son, uh, Robin, real quick, man. We be streaming this shit, man. Make sure I go check this shit out. But uh, reacting to the most insane Warzone 2.0 Twitch clip so far. Man, let's get right into the video, man. Oh, my God. Off the fucking rip. What the rip. heck? Nah. Off the rip? Nah. Oh, my God. I his face is exactly my mood. I'm not going to lie. This is definitely a problem. These guns have been OP, though. I feel like dual weapons been OP for the last two Call of Duties, but this is OD, bro. This is Warzone, bro. This nigga has a pistol. Giving these niggas his cheeks, but come on, bro. He should not be doing that. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Robin. I welcome back to another video for today. Now, as you guys know that we have had Warzone 2 for about a week now. And like the video I did before, I just kind of want to watch some of our favorite beat, Warzone bro? streamers' clips. to get It's too much going on. Opinions. And just to maybe even see some insane guns that we can use while we're playing Warzone 2. So hit that like button. Sub if you are new. We post these every single day. I also been streaming every single day over on Twitch. Twitch yeah, go follow me, man. Underscore. Yeah, I I'm talking. Let's get into the reaction. First clip we have is Joe shows the meta loadout by 1v4ing this team in Warzone 2. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the scar. Okay. This is. Yo, that vector is broken, bro. Look at look how that shit shreds, bro. That shit is broke. Oh my goodness, bro. I thought he killed some first. Nah, this clip crazy. Not my bro. Gosh, oh my god. Oh, the clip is great. Don't get me wrong. It's a fact. But the time to kill in Warzone Yo. right now? Oh my god, bro. You just get instant melted. I swear to god. Bro, that vector is really meta right now. It's a lot of guns that, or I don't know if it's guns or like armor or something they need to do. And they need to fix footsteps for sure. We're going to get to that though, I'm pretty sure. That shit is broke, bro. Look how fast Finnick he shredded them, bro. Attack M, Two, three shields. Next clip is Aiden says it's impossible to outplay enemies in Warzone That's a too. fact. I don't even got to watch the clip and I know that. There's yeah. none of that going yeah, on, bro. just got held, bro. It's two under you. Like, there's just no outplay potential in this game. <laughs> Dude, it's not. Look at them when they're in the building. Look how he's playing. Oh my god. That should have pissed me off. That's what was happening to me before. I just couldn't do anything. Honestly, watching that clip, it makes me, it makes me really realize that I'm not the only one dealing with this. Down in the nah, comment section below, you can let me know how you guys do feel about the current state and movement for Warzone 2. Movement. Uh, me personally, I don't. Some of, this is my problem. Movement is not fluent. Like. Alpha diving is kind of cool, bro, but the sliding you don't really need, bro. It's, it's kind of obsolete. That's why I, want, I, I think they up, put it in the game to keep people happy type shit, but the shit is obsolete, bro. I don't, I'd be forgetting that sliding is in the game. As far as outplaying, if people are hold, held up in the building, bro, there's no outplaying, bro. Niggas be having C4s throughout the buildings, claymores, like slam mines, whatever the fuck you want to call it, bro. And they just sit in the room. And you can't hear it because the footsteps is shit in the game, bro. On regular war on regular Modern Warfare, excuse me. On regular Modern Warfare, you can hear mad footsteps. On Warzone, you can't nothing. If somebody sitting in the corner, bro, and just waiting for you to run through the doorway or run inside, it's, it's click for you nine times out of ten, bro. Nine times out of ten. We feel like that there is a way that you can outplay people who are inside buildings. Fortnite and Apex are two of the best BRs that we've ever had, and yep. each one of those had outplay potential. Like, of course, insanely. 110 Now coming from Warzone 1, where we could outplay four people in one room, to Warzone 2, where we can't really outplay anybody. It's kind of it, it's kind of crazy. Aiden was more so like out in the open, so he just got beamed. But sure. his teammate, who he was spectating, like do a stun in there, pushed into that room, and there was no way for him to slide in and slide out. And you can't even play while running anymore, which nope. is an insane. I don't. No get running with please, bro. Really that shit is slow but, movement, bro. Uh, that's my whole thoughts on that it. Let me know whack. what you guys think about that down below in the comment section. Next clip is Biffle finds a new broken akimbo pistol class in Warzone 2, and I am very scared because I don't feel like Kimbo really put in the time to change the damage properties for these guns. They so, did not, bro. Let's see. Oh my god. Same clip. What Look at that shit, heck? bro. That shit is broke, bro. Given he looks oh third dude was coolest, bro. But what is that? That's broke, bro. How does something like that get into the final build of the game? I have this zero clue. terrible, bro. That was absolutely it's so crazy, much. Yo, to be honest with y'all, it's so many bugs with Warzone. I like the game. It has like great potential to be one of the best games of 2023. And you as you already see, it's not even 2023 yet, but that shit is done, bro. 
It's done right now, bro. But shit like that. While play Warzone 2 after this happened. Oh boy. I jumped the wrong way, yeah. chat. I think I'm about to see nothing really for the next five minutes. This is not good. Yeah, one guy. No redeploy yeah, balloons is one of the lamest, oh, lamest yeah, things they've yeah, yeah. ever done. It's mad oh, being sad, no vehicle? Too. Like, why is there no vehicle? Oh, I'm about to get ran over, dude. This sucks. I'm dead. Given yeah, I mean, this is the first <laughs> week, but I said this earlier, bro. <laughs> Yo, he's... If he's mad funny, I said, bro, they should have. If the game wasn't right, if all the bugs and everything wasn't right, bro, or ready, the game wasn't ready, bro, they shouldn't have put it out, bro. They should have waited. Got this shit to where it needs to be and then push it out, bro. So, hey, Giving us the first week, so, so shit's bro. gonna be buggy, but it's like, that. bro, I feel that should be crashing bro. still. My man's really put out do. one of those those uh, uh drones. <laughs> After he used it, he so couldn't like, move. I don't, like, I don't bro, care this shit is crazy. Feel about the movement, I don't care how you guys feel about a lot of the stuff because movement like seven, eight out of ten should be different with that. But for them not to have ways to effectively move around the map and to be able to go from point A to point B, if you do want to go, like, I feel like there is no way for aggressive players to be aggressive in this game. But if you are not that oh. aggressive of a player, it's, it's you're good. Except for you. rewarded for it. Bro, time to I said this too. Warzone, not fuck Warzone, just Modern Warfare in, in general, the last couple of Modern, like Call of Duty games, but Modern Warfare 2, I'm, it's showing me that they made the game strictly designed around fucking casual players, which is nothing wrong with that. You feel me? But a casual player could pick up any gun and be good. A casual player could pick up any, like sit in a room and just the, the violate every, anything and everybody, bro. And I feel like that's kind of unfair because now it's trickling over into Warzone, bro, where I feel like it should be a little bit more skill based. But zero movement, which is which is fine. Like if they do keep it that way, at least give us aggressive players or people who want to, you know, what I'm saying move around the map quickly. Give us those. Give us a quicker heli. Like, why is that? Bro, the heli is so slow. Give us some faster cars. Um, redeploy balloons. Redeploy balloons. I agree that with I see in cars on 2.0 is redeploy balloons. I agree. I don't want to turn this into a rant video. We're just reacting to some clips and I'm giving my feedback. But oh, Same. my gosh. Redeploy balloons, redeploy balloons, redeploy balloons, please. Next clip we got is they nerfed every movement skill except this in Warzone 2. How, I bet you it's out for diving. Watch it. Bitch on me. Good okay, we got, we got a little bit of Huskers, a little KBM action. Okay. I was about to buy a keyboard and mouse. Oh my gosh. Yeah, drop shot into this is definitely OP. I be wanting to play keep on the mouse. I don't got that drop support, shot though. like that. Okay, wait. That's why I, I do need that to start game. drop shotting more. Hmm. That that might be the that might be the vibe. Drop shots just because you can't move out of situations like you want to. The drop shot may be the meta the meta in terms of movement because there really is no movement in this game. But I digress. Next who we got is Biffle is craziest crazy. and most sus pistol long shot kill ever. We already know how Biffle is, so let's just watch this. Shotgun is crazy. Ooh, nah. I'll be I'll quit. That'd be I this would be the if this is my first game, this would be my first and last game of the day. Yep. Wait. That's it, bro. I didn't know what to expect. Pistol pistol out of the sky is crazy, bro. Is crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, and guess what? He didn't die. He did That's another thing. He did that shit. And the dude dropping out of the sky did not die. That's another thing they, they I guess, implemented. Because in old Warzone, if somebody shoots you out of the sky and you hit the ground, you're dead. You get shot out of the sky 130 feet, 100, 200 feet in the air. You've hit the ground. You're still alive. You didn't take no damage, no nothing. It's kind of funny. ridiculous. I ain't trying to say all the people who say controller can't aim like key keyboard and mouse are wrong. But that's insane evidence to say otherwise. <laughs> Last clip we have today nah, is Joe rates here. Warzone 2 and gives his honest opinion on the game. Joe is somebody who I really like to watch and uh, who I can relate with, um, just because he really did kind of get me started in the whole movement thing on the in the original Warzone. So it will be interesting to see what he says about this okay. in this. So th it is a short clip, so we won't get his full opinion on the game, but I'm but I wanted to add this in just to see what he might have said. Uh, Joe rate Warzone of ten. I would say a seven. A seven. seven. I can take that. It could be very good if they fix that. stuff, or it could be very bad long term. We'll see. They have a they lot of get, changes, a lot and of if potential. they make those changes that I think would help everybody in general, um, then I think that um, it could be good. It's a lot of potential for this game, bro. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Bust me open, respect. 
I actually agree with that. There are a few changes that if they made into Warzone, like that would actually help everybody. It would be better. To end off this video, I do want to give my little thoughts and concerns about Warzone 2. Have I, I have been playing for quite some time now. Uh, I think that what Joel said is completely right. Them changing just a few things here, a few things there could help the game out tremendously. I'm it's not fun. looking to make it a movement based game again. Nope. I could care less about that. Time to kill is too fast. Lack of vehicles, lack of buy stations, lack of money, no redeploy balloons. You don't want redeploy balloons. You can add a fast travel like trains like they had in Caldera. That's six things right there that if they change in Warzone today, the game would be infinitely better. And I feel like all, all the things that I've just named are very minuscule and small changes that they can make in no time. And the game could easily just be, oh, shoot. All right. Fluidity we do of the fucking game, the, the, the buggy shit with the... The kill streak, not the kill streaks, the um streaks, like uh the UAV shit I don't like, but whatever we could argue about that shit all day. The the drones and shit, they could fix that. The um what else could they fix? The the lag, oh my god, the servers are terrible in Warzone 2, bro. 2.0, this shit's just bad. You need to fix that. The fucking yeah, I go on and on. I'm not about to rant though, but yeah. This and this. We're chilling. Like, I don't understand. I really do hope that they end up making a few good changes that we actually want to see. And it's I been, also it's hope only been a week, though, wait or a week and a half, whatever. Make those changes when everybody has kind of moved on from Warzone. And exactly. they're just like, okay, this game is just not what it is. But this shit and could be a top game. Day, we I'm telling y'all. Time to kill. We've given you three. To, no, we don't. We want it now. Like, the exactly. game just came out. We get it. It's been a week. This is why I, I just said, bro, they should have implemented all of this shit early on, bro, before the game dropped. And then fix little shit here and there. Sprinkle this shit throughout the. The, the weeks, the months, or whatever. Now, because these changes are, video, are big, even though they're not, they're, like they're minute, they're, they're big towards the game. Day. Thank you guys all so much for Shout out to him. Super Robin, we are back, and I'll catch y'all. Shout out to the homie, bro. Go make sure y'all follow him and shit. Hit him up and all that. Tell him I sent y'all. <laughs> Word, but yeah, son, it's a lot of good shit that could come from this game, man. I hope it, I hope it does happen, man. Hey, man, we out of here though. Bow, like, comment, subscribe. Woo.